a very exciting feud, a very exciting matchup that is supposed to take place after WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles, his plans after WrestleMania have been revealed. There's a very exciting feud that is coming soon. I think you guys will like it. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE Movie Maker here. Let's get right into talking about AJ Styles and his match that is supposed to happen after WrestleMania. Well, we all know that uh, you know AJ Styles is going to be facing Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. We all know that that match is supposed to be one of the four, or at least three, I don't know, uh, main event marquee matches at WrestleMania. It is a SmackDown exclusive match uh, from the SmackDown brand. And, you know, their match for AJ Styles and Shane McMahon more than likely should have some sort of stipulation. Um, as we will may, you know, may, may get some news about that uh, this, uh, this, this Tuesday on SmackDown. We got news that if that does happen, Daniel Bryan could be a component to this match. He could interfere, try to help Shane McMahon. There could be some sort of saga where he you know, gets fired for, you know, doing something to Shane McMahon by accident. Those are all speculation news. But what actually happens after WrestleMania? It seems like if a Styles does, you know, uh, win at WrestleMania, you know, after we are expected to see him back in the main event title picture, the WWE title picture again. You know, according to a new report, AJ Styles is expected to defeat Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. He's, he's expected to defeat Shane McMahon. Although there have been some speculation about WWE officials moving him to Raw, which isn't going to happen before the summer again. The, the brand split is supposed to happen in, in June. Um, it seems like AJ Styles will be staying on SmackDown Live for a while longer. In fact, it's you know being said that he will be entering the WWE title picture again, which means he should be challenging either Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. It seems as if Bray Wyatt is actually the one that's going to win against Randy Orton. And the WWE will most likely choose the Styles and Wyatt matchup after WrestleMania. Now, here's the question about it. Since Styles is walking the line between a face and a heel, sort of, you know, that may determine whether WWE does choose Orton or Wyatt. I, I can tell you right now, I do not see Orton winning the championship. Uh, that will be the, one of the you know, one of the most more horrible decisions they could make at WrestleMania this year. Um, it's something that they should not do even consider doing Bray Wyatt has a championship he needs to be solidified as a champion now he does not need to be uh, you know deterred from that spot he deserves to stay in the title picture in the main event picture for a long time I could see Orton even fe you know feuding in a triple threat after Wrestlemania with Styles I could see him facing Luke Harper there's unfinished business there but Orton isn't a guy that needs to stay in the main event title picture he doesn't um, he thrives in it because he's been there but the guys who need to be there are like are the guys like Bray Wyatt. Um, in terms of the face and heel turn, people are expecting that Styles will turn face at WrestleMania. You know, uh, due to some of the circumstances, possible circumstances that may occur between the Shane McMahon Styles match again involving uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh, people are speculating that Daniel Bryan may help uh, Shane McMahon. He may as well come in the ring, try to you know. Uh, distract AJ Styles. This this puts heat on Daniel Bryan. If anything, it puts heat on Shane McMahon. It, it really does. Um, uh, we obviously know you know Daniel Bryan he has issues with uh, AJ Styles. Um, we may as well see Daniel Bryan uh, trying to do the running knee kick to Shane McMahon, and you know he ducks out of the way, or and or he does it try to do it to AJ Styles and ducks out of the way and hits Shane McMahon. That's a possibility of a of step one for Daniel Bryan to be fired because we realize that Daniel Bryan is having a kid with Brie Bella so it almost makes sense that him along with Mick Foley who's having hip surgery the general managers of the WWE Raw and SmackDown are going to be uh, permanently off television and programming and uh, they're going to be replaced um, but the way he goes out would be in a heel type fashion for sure and I don't think it, I don't know if WWE wants that happening you know um, because you know, if anything, if he gets fired, it almost makes sense that he may as well return, um, or he 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 you know he has to return. His contract isn't up in a, in a little while, and he he may return uh, on Raw, or you know if if Kurt Angle possibly gets a job on Raw, Daniel Bryan could be switched to Raw, whatever the case is. But I don't see AJ Styles turning face 
unless Daniel Bryan has something to do with it. And that's a bad decision by the company because Daniel Bryan is one of your top faces, right? You don't want to use Daniel Bryan like that. Um, and I think AJ Styles should beat Shane McMahon, should beat him clean, fair and square in a stellar match. That should be one of the matches of the night that will have the stipulation of a, uh, you know, a street fight, you know. Um, and what that does is after Styles does win, and, you know, his gimmick, his story right now is that he, 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 he believes nobody can touch him. He's the best wrestler. He's the phenomenal one. I think that he thrives in that position, and I think it'll, you know, make so much sense for him to be the heel in the Bray Wyatt feud. Bray Wyatt shouldn't even have been heel at this point. I'm surprised they still have him heel. He's the kind of guy that is a cryptic, uh, you know, dark character. You know, he's one of he's like people have called him the 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 new Undertaker of this generation. You know, which I could, you know, understand. But the thing is that Undertaker, with the gimmick he has, people cheer him because they like the dead man cryptic gimmick. They like who he is, and they think it's not scary, but more so exciting and when Bray Wyatt talks it's not it's 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 very it's intriguing and it's not more so scary but it's more interesting and I think if Bray Wyatt was face you know it doesn't really make a difference for him he could the way when I see him on television and the shit he does it doesn't make me hate him it makes me think well this guy is pretty psycho but he man this guy's crazy and i want to see more of him you know um it's not it's not it's not making me hate him and what and what he does it, it doesn't make me boo him you know and St bray y looks like a guy that can run face well and i think if he gets the ball running with that he could put on a stellar feud with aj styles as heel you know aj styles could be like you know i deserve uh you know a match for the wwe title and you know bray Wyatt has beaten randy orton and you know he's like well you know um you know, with his feet, with his heel uh, character, be like, well, you know, I still deserve a rematch. You know, um, I could see him being face as well, but I think at this point, Bray Wyatt and as as a face and AJ Styles as a heel would be more preferable for me. Now, if WWE officials embrace the Styles face turn after WrestleMania, the match with Bray Wyatt for the championship could make more sense. Styles versus Wyatt would be something new for SmackDown, and the feud would help Bray Wyatt continue cementing himself as a top guy. Um, I can also see that because AJ Styles has, you know, gone up against the best. He's beaten Orton. Well, he hasn't beaten Orton, but he's gone up against Orton. He's gone up against Cena. He's gone up against uh, Dean Ambrose. You know, and he's a draw, and he could help put Wyatt over. You know, I would have never thought of saying that. You know, thought I was going to be saying this that. Styles in a year could be a guy that is able to put people over because look at his wrestling abilities. He can do that with Bray Wyatt. Um, however, WWE fans have had a preview Orton versus Styles a few weeks ago. A feud between the two men over the championship would be great as well. In that case, Styles is going to remain heel. Um, but I think at this point we've had AJ Styles uh, with a run with the title. Orton has been a fucking 12, 13 time champion, whatever the thing is. Bray Wyatt deserves, you know, to be put over even more. So I can see how Bray Wyatt is the heel and he remains heel um, because he has a chip on his shoulder at this point. You know, he wants to prove himself that he, you know, he can do this and he wasn't be able to prove himself uh, many years ago. And Styles could be the catalyst to putting him over. Now, the WWE Universe may not love Styles having to carry Shane McMahon, but their feud was never intended to lead a highly technical and proficient wrestling match. It was more a street fight, more brawl. Um, and AJ Styles, the way he wrestles is is hectic. It's, 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 a, it's a very interesting combination of Styles in, no pun intended, by the way, in that ring. You know, one is street fight style and the other is technical. And we have Styles and, you know, Shane McMahon in this. It'll be very interesting. Um, you know, it's a great story, you know, that the WWE fans can be absorbed into the grandest stage of them all. Uh, also, the phenomenal one is being able to work with Shane McMahon on WWE's biggest stage, which will earn him a lot of favor with WWE officials and Vince McMahon. You know, um, WWE officials won't forget him having a great match with Styles, or, you know, with Shane McMahon. Uh, not only will he be in the world title picture, AJ Styles will be the champion once again uh, before the end of 2017. Um, again, my opinion on the feud... I'm excited that Styles will be back in the title picture. We've seen him recently in the title picture to put him back in the title picture. Um, I think, you know, he he's attacked Shane McMahon, you know. 
this is why I don't think that he can automatically just go face right after WrestleMania. That's impossible, right? If he's going to go face later throughout this year, it's going to be after the brand split, you know. Um, but what he did with Shane McMahon at this point, you don't want to turn him face right away. It doesn't make sense. Um, I think he'll still be on the borderline of a healer face, and I think Bray Wyatt, if anything, should turn face. And, uh, you know, what it does is is it creates more of a chip on AJ's shoulder. And once he does get drafted, it could be like, well, finally I get a new chance, a new starting point to make my, my myself known and, you know, memorable again. Because people do not care for me on SmackDown Live, I'll make a name on Raw. And that's how they could start creating the brand split uh, story with AJ Styles, right? So I think Styles and... Uh, uh, Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania, well, not WrestleMania, but after WrestleMania, will be interesting. I think Styles should not win the championship at this point. Put Wyatt over anyways, and Styles, you know, is still that guy who's chasing after a championship, um, but is being screwed over and over time and time again. Um, it would be interesting to see that. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more videos on WrestleMania. More quick, short videos will be up later today. That's my opinion on AJ Styles. Peace out.